There has been so many big changes to the Fire TV OS in the last four years. From when I first started talking about it, this is a completely different operating system. And I know there is so many videos out there telling you to turn these off, turn these on. This setting will make it run super fast. This setting is going to send all your data to Amazon and completely let them spy on you. So I thought it'd be fun to go over a lot of these settings that either have misconceptions around them or maybe that aren't always represented how they are. And also at the same time, go over which ones I do suggest changing and which ones do actually affect your device. So one of the categories that I think have the most misconceptions is the privacy settings. And I'll admit, I have also uh, originally in some of my earlier videos said some things about privacy settings that weren't necessarily true. So this first one is manage sharing apps. And this is something that has been recently added. I think it's within the last year, if I remember right. And this allows certain official apps. And in this case here, you can see if we go to manage participating apps. So right now, Max, MGM Plus and Stars to share information with Amazon to help with your recommendations, to help with ad recommendations. So if they want to display an ad inside of Prime Video, that can also be used for that case. And you can also allow it to sync all of this across your other Fire TV devices on the same account. Now I will concede and say, yes, Amazon could be saying they're doing one thing with your data, but also selling it and all this other stuff that could absolutely be true. And if you're somebody that doesn't like any of your information being sent to Amazon, then yes, this is something you need to turn off but it's really not nefarious. This is only on official apps. So it's not like they're tracking what you're doing in third-party apps and other apps that aren't listed there. So the next one is device usage data. And this is basically taking data from different things you do on your device. And it's then relaying it back to Amazon to help improve product suggestions. And they even give you a big warning because they don't want you to have a misconception of what this is. And the reason Amazon wants your data should honestly be pretty obvious, right? They're the biggest online seller in the world, one of the biggest companies in the world. They want to sell you more stuff. They, When they feed you an ad, they want a higher possibility that you're gonna purchase from that ad. And again, if you don't want to be tempted from the likes of Amazon, then turn that off and that's perfectly fine. So this next one is collect app usage data. And this is basically Amazon collecting that information to either use it themselves or to give it back to the developers. Now it keeps track of both your duration and the frequency of which you use the app. And they say this helps developers better improve their apps and your experience. I just personally turn that one off. I don't think it's a big deal if you keep it on though. And this last one should be pretty obvious, interest-based ads. This is them trying to feed you ads based on the information that they've collected from you. Now this can be either information they collected from your Fire Stick or also, if you're using a different device on the same IP address, a lot of the times they're also collecting that information. That's why if you've ever searched something up on your phone and then you went to stream something on your Fire TV and you're like, oh my God, that's the product I just searched for. They're listening. But they're basically just tracking all that online while you search things and companies are constantly buying and selling data related to consumers. Now, one thing I do suggest using anytime you use Kodi, I don't even want to say the names of those other apps. You guys know what I'm talking about, third-party apps is a VPN and there's a really good reason for this. Everybody has a unique identifier, an IP address that when you're online, this basically keeps track of what you're doing in a sense. Your internet service provider gets all of the information regarding what you're looking up online. And in the US, the UK, and even in Canada, internet service providers have been forced to give this information up in some cases. Now they can't give up information they never have and that's what a VPN helps you do. It acts as a middleman, basically disguising your IP address as a different one, running all your requests online through their servers, which then they send to your internet service provider. And voila, you get to your destination. So I have the link down below in the description. It's a cheap, affordable way. It's over 80%, I think, right now, but sometimes it goes down to 75% off. And there's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you try it, you don't like it, you can cancel it, get everything back. And I get a kickback as well. So if you want to support the channel, it's a great way to do that. So this next one actually gets a lot of flack as well. And that is data usage monitoring. And people always hear that and they're like right away, oh my God, they're monitoring my data. They are, but they're monitoring the amount of data your device is using. And I don't think this is as needed anymore. But let's think back to like 2010 when most people were capped on the amount of data they could use in a month or it had a very low amount. 
Now we, most people have unlimited anyways, or 500 gigabytes or something like that, where you're never going to use all that data. But some people, depending on where you live, you might be limited on the amount you can use a month on your network. And that's where tracking it really comes in handy because they will let you know how much you're consuming through your Fire Stick every month. This little setting below is also super handy because it'll prevent your Fire TV from using data when the TV is off. So that's for updates and other things. So if you want to conserve data, also make sure you turn that one on. Do you ever get annoyed by the autoplay ads that play at the top here and then there's sound that comes on when you leave your Fire Stick on for a few seconds? It can be pretty annoying. Now, I've heard people say in the past, turning the setting off can actually speed your device up. And that's not necessarily the case. It definitely gets rid of an annoyance, but it really doesn't speed it up. Now, maybe there's a couple frames in there that there's that second before the video plays and after it plays where it's just using up a little bit more of your ability to move through your device, but really it's not going to affect much. And that's why when you go under preferences and you scroll down to featured content, you can turn off both the video audio play and the audio. So if you don't mind the video and you want to leave it on, but you hate that loud burst of audio, turn that one off. If you want to turn them both off, turn them off, but it's not really going to speed up your device. So there's not a lot of settings inside of network that you can really mess around with. But one thing I do suggest doing is going to the Wi-Fi password to Amazon section. So it saves your Wi-Fi password when you enter it to Amazon server. And what this means is when you go on another device and you're setting it up for the first time, you don't have to put all that in. So it's going to save you a little bit of time when setting up a new device. Now, when you turn this off, it is going to delete your password off their server. And again, if this is something that was on and you didn't know it was on and you don't trust that it's going to delete it, just go change your Amazon password. And again, if this is something that you didn't know that was on and you don't want it to have your password and now you're freaked out, even if you turn it off, just go change your Amazon password. Okay, I'll admit I hate the Fire TV screensaver. It comes on way too fast. I would go and make some popcorn. You know, I'm watching Lord of the Rings, whatever, having a good time. I come back, screensavers on. Suddenly the video, I have to go back into Prime, access it. Super annoying. So go to your screensaver setting right here. Then you can scroll down and change the start time. I just like to put it to at least 15 minutes. This gives you enough time to actually go and do something and come back. Okay, now if all else fails, you think you fucked up your device. You're stressed out. You're like, ah, I messed everything up. Don't worry. Just go to My Fire TV, scroll down, and reset to factory de defaults. This way, everything is set back to normal. It's like it was brand new. You have to re-sign into your account, but it's a great way to just refresh your device. You can even do it once per year, and you'll probably notice a good improvement in your speed. So I hope this helps some of those misconceptions and questions you had regarding the settings on your device. I do also have modules and learning guides I'm building out on my website. So if you want to head to upgradeguide.com and head to the learning guide section, I already have a ton populated. So if you have someone that's learning the device for the first time, it's a great way to get started. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.